Does your cat hate riding in the car? Cause mine does. When he was a baby, he was fine. He would just go to sleep. I could take him with me anywhere. Now the car just kind of freaks him out. So I've been taking steps to try to get him used to the car again. Sitting in the car with him for short periods of time. Hi babe. Turning the car on and sitting there for a few minutes, just trying to get used to like the sounds of the car. He just is still uneasy about it. After hours of searching for a solution, I found this cat kennel, I guess is what it's called, um, on Amazon. It's soft-sided and there's enough room for them to spread out, to lay down, to stand up, and I thought I would give it a try. It was fairly inexpensive. The estimated shipping was about a week, but it got here in two days, so that was really nice. The reviews were great. People said it really helped their cat get used to the car and now they're completely comfortable and it's made traveling so much easier. So I went ahead and bought it. I have not yet opened it. I'm gonna bring it out and show you and then I'm gonna try it out and see how it goes. We're not gonna start right away putting this in the car. We're going to start with it in the house so he gets a chance to get used to it and then we'll move to the car. Don't buy this to replace um, your hard-sided carrier. It's not the same thing. One more thing, be careful when opening this because I read the reviews. Apparently, when you open it, it pops out very suddenly and quite a few people have been hit in the face. So definitely be careful opening it. All the components come in this bag. There's kind of a lot here. Okay, we've got the kennel itself, which I have not yet opened. It comes with a removable mat and it's also reversible. Also comes with a litter box. All right. It has Velcro on the bottom and so does this side of the mat. So it's meant to kind of stick on there. Personally, I would not put the litter box in while traveling. That just seems very messy to me. I would rather stop along the way, let my cat use the bathroom before stopped for the night in a hotel or something. This is a great little portable litter box. I would get a liner, a litter box liner for this. Easy cleanup. That's what I would use this for. Not in the car, but you do you. And this little taco thing is a dish. It's a portable food bowl. I wouldn't put water in this. It's a little bit flimsy to be honest. But you can put some kibble in here and then it also has a spot for the mat. If you do plan on using the litter box and putting it on the mat itself, I would not put the litter box next to the food bowl because you wouldn't want to eat where you go to the bathroom. Cats don't want to do that either. So not a bad placement on their part, but I'd probably use this side. It's soft and comfy, but I probably would um, put a blanket over it anyway. It also comes with stakes. So you can actually, if you're going camping, you can um, attach this to the ground, like it's a tent. So like, that's pretty cool. And it comes with this little toy, but it was supposed to come with two toys and I don't see, I don't know if it's in here, I don't think that it would be. It's not a big deal. It's just a toy, but let's just open the damn thing. <laughs> they were right about that. That was violent. Where's my nail? Broke my nail right off. got this cover. I think this is how that goes. Alright, something like that. Um, FYI, the toy was not found in here, so I am missing a toy. Here's this. It's got Velcro, so it sticks to the bottom. Just so you can see. To go there. I would not recommend putting the food bowl next to the litter box. Your cat probably is not going to want to use the litter box while you're in the car anyway. And they're probably not going to need to eat while you're driving. And then this, this would be such a mess in the back of your car. This would be good for camping or something or you're in a hotel and obviously with this somewhere else. If you've seen my cat, you know he's a big boy. So he needs all the room he can get. So I'm going to want it completely empty. It does have this handle. I guess it's sturdy enough. As long as you don't have a big old moose cat like I do, you could transport your cat um, small distances. Hotel room or just right outside 
probably if you're camping or something. Oh, it has handles on the side too. This is by Cheering Pet and it's super cute. On the top, you're supposed to be able to hang the toys. This is supposed to hang up on one side and then the feather toy was supposed to be on the other, but I didn't receive that, which is fine. Like he probably won't use these anyway. Give me a test subject thing. Obviously, I want to give a review that's as accurate and honest as possible, but since I'm not sure how long training is going to take or how it's going to go, the review section of this will be in another video. But if you want to see more unboxings, let me know, or let me know if this has been completely boring. Also, if you have tried this before, I would love to know how it's going, how it's worked for you. So please drop a comment, let me know. Thanks for watching, and keep an eye out for that review.